So what we're going to do is um, we're going to do some nickel plating. Awesome. So uh, I've done this quite a lot of times now, and as you can see, I've amassed loads of stuff. In the future, we'll probably do some nickel uh, zinc plating as well, um, and a few other bits of plating, and we'll piss around doing um, some black zinc and black nickel plating. I've got some dichromates that we can fuck around with, and we've got chemicals and acids and meters and power and boxes and yeah. This is going to be quite fun. So uh, stick around and we'll try and make this not uh, boring and try and just get on with it. Right then, so step one, wire brush your parts. So these are yeah, pretty alright. But uh, don't touch them again with your bare naked hands after you've done this. Step two, this is warm water with caustic soda. Put all your parts in there. Remember, caustic soda is bad shit for your hands. So, uh, don't touch it with your hands, make sure you're wearing gloves. It's a good idea to keep your caustic soda in your, um, no, to keep your wire wool in your caustic soda. it soaks into the wire wool as well. Don't use caustic soda if you are planning to do any kind of aluminium parts. Don't use caustic soda on aluminium whatsoever and I will do a little thing at the end of this video to show you why. Now after you've done your caustic soda wash, in some of water, I'm going to show you that you know what water looks like. This is sulfuric acid, as you can see. So what we're doing now is we're etching the part. Give it a few minutes, give it a stir to get the hydrogen bubbles off. And this is just, it's roughening up the surface of your steel. So the nickel has something to bind to. Now you want to do this one part at a time. Just because it's sulfuric acid and it's um, nasty stuff. So we'll give that about five minutes. Let it etch properly. You should be wearing eye protection if anything this shit splashes and goes in your eyes. You're not gonna have a good day out. So now we've got our nickel solution. And I wrap a bit of solder. Now a lot of people are not gonna like this, but shit happens, this is what I do. Wrap some solder around the threads. This is 60 degrees. You can see I've got the thermal couple in there. What I'll do is attach my solder to a negative, pop this in, like so, take my thermocouple out, it's been a stable temperature for the last, I know, hour, and then what I'll do is turn on my power supply, as you can see here, so as you can see we put it in, and she's drawing a nice 12 volts. Sorry, we're pushing through 12 volts and it's drawing, what's that, 5, 6, 7, 7 amps. And she's cooking away. As you can see. Awesome. So it's been in there for 5 minutes. Dip in, take it out. You can see we're getting this goldy kind of sheen to it. So what we'll do is we'll take off our solder, like so, put that to one side, give this a bit of a, a light scrubbing with some clean wire wool,
ounces of 80 grit. <laughs> and it's lost its will to stick. Straight. 